Hey yo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another banger video where today I'm gonna collect money from some candy machines. I got. So it has been a minute since I've done a bold candy machine video, just in general, not even just a collection from them. But anyways, this is gonna be a five bold candy machine collection day video. It'll be a mix of of, of candy machine like the triple heads and like regular combo single head candy machines. I'll let you guys know which what each which each machine is later on in the video while I'm collecting from them. I'll try to let you guys know this also is a four month collection. I would do one or two month collection but sure it's not worth it for me because I bought candy machines just do not perform like they really should be <laughs> they're really 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 slow i did um change the location in this video also so you guys will also see that and hopefully that increases the sales for that machine a good amount but yeah um i'm, I'm not saying that bulk, the bulk candy machine is bad it's just really bad for me i would just stick with honor boxes me personally that's just because i'm in delaware which is like zero to no population like we're like in the middle of nowhere all right so if you live like anywhere it's more popular you have a good chance of being successful with the candy machine business without further ado let's hop right into the collection first location of the day is a papa john's location here is a guy trying to talk to me about something i totally forgot about just because it wasn't really that important either just Hella boring, not even gonna lie. But this is one out of my two Papa John's location for bolt candy machines. Uh, I had, I do have an uh, on the box of this one too. It does perform well, but it does also have a high amount of depth, so it might be on its way out, or at least change over to a just lollipop box. But anyways, obviously here I'm just trying to go ahead and open up the machine just so I can refill it because obviously it is low, and then obviously collect the money from it. This is a really long clip just because I have no idea why I wanted to make it this long. But yeah. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the point where I actually get into the machine. Let's hop to that right now. Alright, as you guys saw that there was a good amount of quarters in that machine definitely not a good amount for four months that's more what there should be in a month or two maybe even three but four is just way 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 too much three probably not but again here you go enjoy the roof and now we're gonna cut to the chain cuts it i'm gonna cut to the part where we actually where i'll show you guys more of the money Location number two of the day is a Jamaican cafe cuisine, which is just literally a little Jamaican restaurant. It is mostly a takeout restaurant, just because of the size of it. I'm assuming it's mostly takeout. Oh, I did use have a box here for like a month or two, but then the theft just went crazy high, so I had to pull it out. But I still do have a triple head candy machine here, which is, which is the one I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. This was really a bad location overall, and this is the one that I'm planning on pulling if it did not do that well. And here's a machine right there, and keep in mind all four month collections. This machine, the Pacific, has peanut M&Ms, regular M&Ms, and gumballs in the middle, as you guys saw right there there but again my plan was this location did a certain amount i would keep it if it doesn't i would go ahead and pull it so um you guys will see at the end how that played out but anyways as you can see i'm hoping up the machine here just like quick play and in a second i'll show you guys boom there is all the money you can't really see it because it is dark but i'm gonna pull it out and there we go that is a four month collection from a triple shot machine which cost like almost 200 dollars. just so you guys know i got this one from candymachines.com i think or go go machine warehouse i don't remember as you can see it's not doesn't look like a lot but we'll see when we count it up 
All right, right here, right now, I'm actually uh, putting in the money into a little cup. And yeah, you guys should go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Turn on post notifications, all of that. Go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm just putting uh, all the coins into the cup. I knew it's not a lot, so I didn't decide to bring a baggie and put it all in there. And I will show you guys the cup in a second. So you like, it doesn't look like anything, especially for a tour and all the machine. So obviously, I will be pulling it here today. And I will be placing it at a better location, which I'm hoping will be better at least. Because uh, it is also one of my honor box locations. My my best on the box location so some of you guys might already know the location but yeah Location number three is a nail salon slash tanning spa location. Also one of my on the box locations. You know, I try try to do this like when I when I first got my machine, I try to place them in all my on the box locations just to make it ten times easier for everyone. But yeah, this is the machine that's just a single head, uh no stand. I actually bought on the stand, they said no. And I was like, alright, can't do anything about that. And as you can see my on the box and like on my machine. <laughs> yeah. I do want to apologize for this video because I really like have a hard time editing long videos. Like I personally don't think this is like that interesting, but uh, <laughs> the last one got a good amount of views, so I'm assuming you guys like to see these bull candy machine videos. And make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button if you want to see another one. I will try to make my editing better, but you know, there's a cap off with that since I use uh my phone and iBovie, so I can't really you know. Uh, this is all done on mobile on my little iPhone 8 here. So do please do. A Bear with me until, you know, I get monetized or something so then I can, you know, buy a professional setup or whatever it may be. So, yeah, I obviously, just open the machine over here. This is the one that I bought from eBay. Never buy from eBay for anything having to do with uh, candy machines except for parts. Parts are the only thing that you guys should be buying off eBay. Uh, as you can see, just open the machine up over here. Um, if I would take the top off real quick. Boom. Top off in the hand a second. I'll show you guys how much money we have inside for four months. And coins started going everywhere, and I was such a disappointment right there. I I, I kind of got mad, kind of wanted to get up and leave just because after four months, it's all what's in there. It's um definitely disappointing, but anyways, also a little Minnie Mouse thing in there, which was like kind of weird, but <laughs> okay. I guess someone tried to get a free gumball that way, or thought I was like a trash can for whatever reason. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the money into the Ziploc bag. I look so ugly when I from the top, but yeah um. I pour it in, and again, I'll go home and count all this up. I'm pretty sure this is the fourth location of the day, or the fifth. I'm not, I'm not sure, to be completely honest. But yeah, this one is a little pizza restaurant type thing, which is like, where like, you know, sandwiches, pizzas, all that good stuff. Um, Here's the problem. The people you see right there are the only people in the whole entire store. Literally, whenever I, whenever I came in the store, the store when, I, when I also had an honor box or whatever, there was literally no one here. It's a big, huge store. No one's ever there. I'm surprised it's still open. But again, when I opened this up, uh, it was a little bit more than some of the machines. So that was a good thing. But uh, I have no idea how the employees would like the machine or whatever it may be. But yeah, I'm here. I'm just going to try finding my keys and open up the machine. Location number five, another Papa John's location. I'm just gonna cut to the point where I actually show you guys some money, so let's go to that right now. All right, so here I have all five of the locations all ready to be counted up. So without further ado, let's hop right into that. Alright, so obviously I just, I just put my money in the Ziploc and just label them either like this or just put a little note card in there just so I know which location is which. And this location seems to, seems to look like it did 
pretty um bad because keep in mind these are all four month collection you guys are four month collection i'm definitely not gonna be buying any more um bulk candy machine unless i do find out that uh unless i do get a really good location first but let's count it up either way <laughs> it just looks like a lot but it really isn't for four months anyways i think i'm gonna do a little time after that so let's hop right into that Alright, so here is the Papa John's location. Well, one of the Papa John's location. The first one that I did, so the first one in the video, if that makes any sense. I put them in rows of 10, which would also make them easier to, for me to roll them up because my bank only allows coins rolled up, which is basically, give me a second. I have to put all the quarters in here. So it is a pain, but it's not like, you know, like it's like an hour for one roll, it takes like a couple minutes. So not that big of a deal, but anyways, let's count it up. We got 10, 20, 30. I'll just count it up for you guys like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So obviously there's 10. 10, 20, 30. $39 right there. We're missing one. Then we have 39, 75. 39, 85. 39, 95. And then we have 20. And then we have 22. I'll put the total right up here just so I don't mess it up and waste all time. Anyways, let's hop right in to the next one. Excuse me, basically, this is basically what a $10 in quarters looks like when it's rolled up, just like that. And then you go to the bank and you put that in. And obviously, I'm checking for bicentennials or um, silver quarters as I'm going through, just because they're worth more and I could be able to sell them for just a little bit more money. But yeah, I'm gonna roll these back, all these up, and then we're heading in to the next location. Now let's head on into the next location, which is actually where my triple head machine was. Again, these are all four months collection, which I actually did end up pulling and pulling and putting it at a better location that I had. So hopefully the collection, the, the next collection will be 10 times better because that location I have pretty high hopes for. Again, this place is called Jamaican Cafe Cuisine, and I'll roll the time lapse right now. <laughs> So I just finished uh, recording this location and I went back and looked at the footage and it was in slow motion. I'm hella stupid, but again, this is the one uh, where I had a triple shop at a Jamaican Cafe Cuisine um, that I did end up pulling because it didn't look like a lot and I'm glad I did because you can see it's not a lot at all. Um, I do have some in here, I put some in there, it's all mixed up now, but anyways, the total was $22.40. That's really, really, really bad for four months with the triple shop. That, that that should be a minimum that that is what I need as a minimum for at least two months and that's four months definitely not a good location good the good thing I pulled it 2240 is where it is let's head on into the next one alright so definitely looking like the worst location so well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the worst because those two are looking not bad, not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars and six cents. Really, really, really bad. I would pull it and put it somewhere else. Like any location would have been better than this, I'm pretty sure. But again, for obvious reasons, it makes no sense to do so. Let's hone in to one of these better ones. Next location we have here the little uh, Italian restaurant single head thermal machine with a stand. Still, uh, not not the machines that I like, but it is a used machine. But it is what it is because it did like better than the last one. But again, it's still not a lot for four months. The foot traffic here is just completely like like bad. Like it's just really 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 bad. Whenever I go there, there's either no one there or like one person, which is kind of sad. 
Anyways, let's see how much we got. It's a nice little time lapse. Here we go. This is looking uh, much better than the last the last couple ones, so that's that's a good thing. Obviously, so it doesn't look like a lot enough for for months. Again, um, I'm gonna put my population in my um, my whole state. Like I'm in Delaware, second smallest state, the most boring state, and the population is like pretty dang low <laughs> for com compared to most regular cities so this could just be my results or it just could be because the timing or whatever it could possibly be um anyways we have one bicentennial two bicentennials and three bicentennials i didn't find any silver quarters so far anyways we have 10 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 dollars and two cents still bad but not that bad <laughs> all right so i'm done with every location beside this one right here which is my other papa john location which is just a single head candy machine no stand no nothing so on the little like um like a little counter area that they have next to the window that's where it's sitting as you guys saw in the video and it looks like it did pretty dang good last time it did like 60 dollars in like two or three months i'm sitting it did slow down this time for whatever reason you know <laughs> i can't seem to make up reasons now but it looks like the best one yet i don't know i could be wrong could be second could be third but i'm hyped up for this one let's hop right into it This is actually uh, a peanut m and machine, which actually inspired me to get a bulk candy machine, which I kind of regret doing now. But hopefully the new location fixes that and hopefully I get some more pretty good locations so I can buy more bulk machines and expand my bulk route. Just because they're way more um, passive, way more easier and much, much efficient. More more easier than um, Onyx boxes. Onyx boxes obviously do make more, depending on uh, your location, obviously. But for me, on a box of yeah, New Year's same me. I've been killing these beasts. I've been bringing the heat. I've been feeling more free. People change around me. Lot of shit built up. Now we gotta let loose. People looking for love. I've been looking for truth. Hard to find what's new. Yeah, time for me to unleash. I'm becoming a beast. Following what I do. Can't believe what I see. People acting up. All right, so this looks like the best location so far because here. There are no bicentennials, which you know doesn't really matter that much. But we have thirty dollars right here. Then we have thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-three, twenty-five, thirty-three, twenty-six. Thirty-three dollars twenty-six cents. I'm getting hyped up for no reason. That's really, really, really bad. But again, better than some of my location that I've had. It's better than nothing. I'll see you guys at the end. Boom, that is the end of this 19 minute long video. Crazy long video, don't upload these that often. Like, I only do longer videos, like about the past 15 minutes, only for like more game machine collections videos like this one. So, that's, that's that. But yeah, I'm not gonna try to take up any more time, so make sure to go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share, turn post notifications, all that good stuff. Check out my description below real quick. I have a few things that you can check out. Social medias, uh, place to buy a bulk machine, a whole bunch of other stuff, so. Check it out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.